Alright, Logic Lemur here with another Sudoku. This one's called Pointing Around by Pwin. Let's get into the rules. We got normal Sudoku rules apply. So we've got every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box has to have the digits 1 through 9 in it once each. Arrow. Digits on an arrow must sum to the digits placed in the arrow circle. So this digit here in the arrow circle has to be the product of these two. Same with that one there. Now that, that one. Quadruples digits in a circle in the intersection of four cells must be placed at least once in the cells touching that circle. Digits that appear twice in circles must be placed twice in the cells touching the circle. So what that says is, like this, this one here, we have a one, two, three, and a four on the circle. And there's four digits touching that circle. So these four digits would have to be one, two, three, and four. Another corollary is we've got a six, six circle here. So in these four cells, there has to be two sixes. And those are the rules. So let's uh, let's get into it. So let's start with these. I think is a good place to, uh, what I always like to do is start where we've got a circle completely embedded in a box because it rules out the possibility like of this where you could say oh there could be a six here or there could be a six here this one no these have to be one two three and four same with this these have to be one two four and five now looking at that more closely we've got between these two sets of four by fours We've got a one, a two, and a four, which are all the same. So what that means is within these two boxes, there is a one, there is a two, and there is a four, which means at the end of the day, you cannot have a one, two, or a four in any of these boxes. Let's do the example on that. Let's pull these out. Let's say this was the one, this was the two, this was the three, this was the four, something like that. It doesn't matter what the order is. Now in this one, where does the one go? Can't go there. So it has to go in one of these two. Let's just say it's that one for the sake of it. Now where does the two go down here? Because that two, it cannot go down here. So it has to go down here somewhere. Let's just say it's there. Where does the four go down here? It can't be any there because of that one. So it has to go there. And this would have to be a five. Now ones, so there has to be one over here, twos here, rule out twos and all those, so there has to be a two here, fours can't be here, so it has to rules out fours and all those, so this has to be one, two, four. So let's erase all that. We know this has to be one, two, and four. <clears throat> now we can take this two, two clue. And what a two, a two digit quadruple that spans between two boxes. What that tells you is that to the digit in that circle has to be on a diagonal from each other. Because you have to be able to put two of the same digit in these four cells, but you can only put one here and one here. So if this is the two, this couldn't be two, that couldn't be two, so this would have to be the two. And vice versa. So now that we know that there's a one, two, four over here, the only place a two can go in this side of this two, two quadruple is right there. So that is the two. And then now this can't be a two, that can't be a two. I still need a two in here, so that has to be a two. So what that does is tell me there's a two up there, because there has to be a two in one of these four. And what else does it tell me? Well, there's another thing. Six is in here. It's not great, but it tells me there's no sixes in any of those, so there has to be a six up here. Um using twos, there's no two down here, so it has to be up here. Same with the four, there's a four in here and a four in here. These are not great things to deal with. Well, with this one, we got a one, two, four, and a one, two, four, same as we had over here. Because there cannot be a one, two, four in any of those. There has to be a one, two, four here. We know there's a four in one of these two. So this is not a four. We know there's a four in one of these two, because of this four. That's just one in there and one in there. So this one has to be a four. Those go away. Now that we know that's a four, we know both of these are fours. So that can't be four, that can't be four, that can't be four, that can't be four. Now that four is there, that gives me the one and the four. <clears throat> so, oh, here we go. We got a six, six. There has to be two sixes in each. They can't be here, they can't both be there. So they have to both be that way. Which rules out those sixes, which puts a six up there. Now, but I know the six is there. These have to be seven, eight, and nine. 
Now this cannot be 7, because 1 plus 7, the lowest it is 8. This can't be 9, because 1 plus 9 equals 10. So this is either 7, 8, or this is either 8 or 9. Um, the two twos here means a two over here. Not particularly useful at this juncture, but it is what it is. Um, okay, let's use this three three. There has to be a three in one of these four. There has to be a three in one of these two. This has to be a three. That has to be a three because it has to be diagonal. This now has to be a five. There has to be a five over here because this would result in five in those two. Um, What else? Well, it's a small little thing, but we know there's a 5 up here, because there can't be a 5 on here. None of these, so these are all going to be as 5. Mm. What else? Well, I guess we know these are 3 and 5 in this box. This six six here. There has to be a six in one of these four. Because of this, and there has to be a six in one of these two. Because of these, I don't know who they are. And then you have to do that. Now we know that there's no six in any of these. There's no six in any of these. There has to be a six in one of these two. Because of this, so one of those is six. This can't ever be a six. Why is that? Because if this is the six, this has to be a seven, eight, or nine. Satisfy that. This is not six, so this it's six. So this is seven, eight, or nine. This would have to be one, two, or three, and it's not two. So this is either seven or nine, which means it's not eight. So there has to be an eight down here. What else we got still? do this but I don't really want to. Well that six is sort of helpful because I can put a six here. Means there's no six, no six, no six, no six, because of all the ones. Which means that's a six. Oh well here, these two gives me a six down here, which gives me this as the six means I can put these as 1, 2. That's not a 2 anymore, so that is. These are 1, 4, and 5. We know that's not 4 or 5, so that's 1. These are not. These are a 4 or 5 pair, which gives me 7, 8, and 9 in here. That's 5 and a 4. That's a 9. That would be the easy way to do it. This has to be seven or eight in this box. Um, I don't really want to fill these in yet. There's not quite enough information there to be really useful. Um, these fours, maybe. I can't have that, so one of these, no, no not for that anyway. Five, this is a four or five pair. That's how I get it. Okay, four or five. Five here and a four there, so this can't be four or five, so that has to be two. Four and a five have to saddle up there, which means that two gives me a one and a two. Um, this isn't very good. Give me three, seven, eight, and nine. Not helpful. Um, seven give me anything? Not really. Twos, ones. I don't think there's any basic Sudoku stuff to use there. One of these is a two. We already know that. One of these is a two. Let me just take that out. But no, that does give me this actually. Missed that one. That's a one. That's a two. Which means that's not a two. Which means this is a two. Um, sixes. Got them all. Fours. Uh, one of these. So this is a one four pair. We know that. We know that. We know those. Not too 
Oh, that's what I was doing with that here. I should give me the one and the four. Seven, eight, nine on this row are not very helpful. The one can't be any of those because of these, so it's going to be one of those. Three doesn't do much. The four doesn't do much. The five doesn't. The six does. So we're done. Seven and nine. Nothing. Okay. Let's just write these in for now. They have to be one, three, and four. This can't be one. either. Um, what am I missing? It's probably something really obvious. What about this arrow? The least this can be is a 7. So it's 7, 8, or 9. Which means this would have to be 3. Obviously it can't be 4 or 5. So this is not 8. arrows that are helpful right now? Not really. They're probably kind of solved. Doom, doom, doom. Missing something very obvious. I can sense it. So I've got a one here and a one here, which creates the X one up here. So this has to be three. And this has to be nine. It's not three. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I've got three here and three here, which means none of these are fusions. That's three. These have to be seven and eight. These have to be one and five. I also I do have a one X one. So one of those is one. That's not terribly helpful. I've got a 5x1, so these are not 5s, which means that is. That's helpful. Um, do I have any 7, 8, 9s? I mean, 7, 8s, and 9s, I don't really have any of them, which is semi a problem. Well, duh. There has to be two 7s on here. One of these has to be a 7. That's a 7. I just missed the obvious stuff, just to annoy people. <laughs> this has to be a 7, because that's an 8, that's a 7. That 7 makes that an 8, that's a 7, that's an 8. These have to be 5 and 9. This is a given 3. Um, these two are, where are they? 8 and 9, which means this is a 7. These two now have to be 8 and 9, so that's 8, that's 9, this is a given 7, which makes that an 8 and that a 9, which is a 7, and an 8 and that a 9. Okay, looks like we're almost done with this baby. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, sorry, 8, 9, and 1. So that has to be the 1. These are not. This one has to be the 7. That's got to be a 7 by simply here. Um, these three are 2, 8, 9. That can't be 2. That can't be 8. That can't be 9. This is a given 5. Can't do anything with these 1, 5 that's here. Not really. Three, five, this has to be eight or nine. It doesn't help. These have to be two, eight, and five. That's not eight. That's not two or five, so that is eight. These are two, five, and four. That eight means that's the nine. That's the eight. That's the two, that's the nine, that's the five, that's the two. 
these have to be one and three, I believe. Yep, so that's three, that's one, two, nine. Okay, so there's an eight and a nine. Um, I'm at the end here, and let's finish it off somehow. What am I missing? Okay, basic so that we have to do the one here and the five there. So the four and the five and the four and the one and the three and the five, three, five, four. And there we go. You solved the puzzle. Awesome. So that was really cool. Um, Sudoku. Uh, a good combination of quadruples and arrows. That was really enjoyable. I hope you all enjoy that and uh, hope to see you on the next one.